two. Okay, okay. Okay, we're good. Welcome to On The Patio with Mr. D. Hey, we got us a new product to review today, and yes, it is not a kayak. It is actually something I've been thinking about doing is get, picking up a uh, e-bike. And during my off-season time when I'm not kayaking, because it's just too, really too hot out here in Florida. So I shut down between June and October. And then I start picking up my kayaking, start the new season, stuff like that. However, I didn't have nothing to do with myself. And as you can see, I have grown in stature. So I want to get out and do a little more exercise and stuff like that. And I thought an e-bike would be a great way to go. Now, there was a lot of research I did to find out which one uh, meet the parameters that I wanted to meet. Like it has to fold. It has to be able to fit inside my car. Uh, I want to be able to go out and produce some uh, videos, off-season videos, uh, in different state park roads and, and trails and stuff like that. So again, the research was on, and I found the electric 2.0 bike, and I really, really like the way this thing looks, the way it's built. But there's a lot of things to do before you're getting ready to go. So, so today, what we're going to do is run it through the checklist. We have to do a lot of stuff. We got to install a whole lot of accessories that was recommended that you do. You don't have to do these, but I want to do these for comfort, video productions and stuff like that. I have to have the mounts and all that kind of thing to make all this stuff work right. So what we're going to do is go through the checklist. And one of the checklists says that you must torque or check the torque on all the required torque bolts and screws so we're going to do that right now and uh, we're going to get all this set up uh, i don't plan on riding this for a couple of more days uh, maybe tomorrow i did get the battery all charged up and it's ready to go so hey without further ado let's get into this manual and get these torque spec system done then we'll start adding all the other accessories that i purchased for this particular bike so hey We'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, what we're going to do first is go ahead and uh, get this thing out the box. Start cutting all this stuff up. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to do is take the foot-pound torque. I had to convert 40 Newton meters over to uh, foot-pounds. Got that all set, and what we're going to do right now is just go ahead and check the torque on these to make sure they're okay. That one's good. That one's good. All right, now we're doing the rear axle nuts here, and uh, we'll be done shortly. Okay, so all the bolts have been torqued down on the front and rear wheels. And what we're going to do now is go right down the checklist, and they give you a really excellent book to look at right here. All right, guys, the next thing I got to do is the brake caliber mounting bolts, and they are right here. And we're going to check those. And it's 7 Newton meters. And that one's good. 7 Newton meters there. So those brake caliper mounts are good. Check the ones in the back here. Hopefully they didn't change that size. Okay, as you can see, I'm going to tighten that down. It was loose. Now it's up to 7 Newton meters, so I'm okay there. To do the top one. 
and that one was loose okay and that one's been torqued down to seven newton meters what I'm doing now is going through the checklist and I'm not going to bore you with all of this What we're going to do now guys is take the Cloud9 seat and the Zoom suspension seat post and get that installation all done. You insert the top part of the Zoom seat post and using a 916 socket and a 916 wrench go ahead and tighten the seat bracket. Okay, we're going to take the Zoom seat post over here to the bike and check out its height I want to be right here because I'm really small and it looks like it's a little bit high and go ahead loosen that up and drop the nose of the seat to get the comfort level that I wanted once I had the level of the seat correct just tighten everything back up and we were good to go there we go that should be perfect Oh wow, yeah that suspension seat post is going to be great. Did raise me up higher but we're good to go. Alright guys, what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and install the side mirror by electric bike. And that's this bad boy right here. And what you have to do is you have to cut a hole here to go in there. So. I'd recommend an exacto knife or something like that. So we're going to get in here and get this cut out and then install that. Should be an easy install. So let's go. All right, first thing you want to do is just take your exacto knife and cut it. Just reach the base of the inside diameter of the handle grip. Now go in. Basically, just carve it out. Now they do supply plugs if you decide to take these out. To install it, you insert this in here like that. And then take your Allen wrench and it is a wrench. Now I use a ball mount Allen wrench because they are really cool to work with. And then just basically tighten this up because it's gonna slam that sleeve up against the side of the handlebar, keeping it straight and really good to go here and and there we go really simple to do take the protective film off and there you go now this is not glass this is stainless steel so you're all good to go now if this gets a little loose here you can always tighten that up go to a 4-0 and that should tighten this to where I can actually add more resistance to this mirror. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So, as you can see, the mirror is installed. Really a piece of cake to do. Let you look at it here. And then I can change this anywhere I want to go. And I think now that it's adjusted different, um, we're going to raise this adjustment a little bit loosen that up so I can move it towards me just a just a, a bit so I'm gonna take this back it off move this right about there that's what I want and my mirrors installed I'll let you guys see real clean installation no problems at all all right, we're going to do now, guys, like I said, we're going to go ahead and mount this extender on. And I was told this is kind of a pain in the butt to do. And uh, I think I'm going to have to agree with him. But I think the smartest thing to do is to get both this and install it in separate. Don't try to install the whole assembly at the same time. It's just too cumbersome. I'm doing now is just kind of getting this to where it'll overlap that over. The split rings have got to be 
overlapped, otherwise it won't wrap tight around your uh, your handlebar. And this one is being real. I can't even finger do it. There we come on. I mean, I'm getting resistance. Trust me, guys, it's supposed to be one of the hottest days of the year today. So when you know, I'd figured this day to. All right, now I got the split ring in. Now I'm just going to cinch this a little bit. It is tightening down on the bar. That was my biggest concern. I didn't know if it was going to do that, and it is with no problem at all. Now, you can see this is at an angle. So that's what the guy told me. He says it's going to be a little bit of a, a challenge to get that where you want it. And this time I'm going to put it on the bar and split ring. Now you can see the split ring, you have to overlap it like this. And then get that on the bar. Like that. And this is not going to play fair. I'll run that down here like this. And over like this. Then try to feed it to the bar. I hope. All I wanted to do is set. There we go. Now, I can take this. I think I should take it off to get that screw started. Because you don't want to cross thread this. What I thought would take a couple of minutes, now it's taking quite a bit of time. I think I cross-threaded it. I think what I want to do is take some of the tension off of this one. Now that's better. Yeah, I had too much tension on that bolt. Now we're getting there. I'm not going to tighten anything down until I get the center bar in. The overlap of the split ring is there and there. Oh, now it's spinning nice and easy. Okay. And this one. Now it's cinching down. There we go. Now, what I want to do is get this and this in here. And I may have to loosen these clamps here because you can see the, the pitch angle here. And that's going to cause me a little grief. So I'm going to loosen this like that. And then loosen this side like that. And I may have to open it with a screwdriver just to be like this. And then try to run that in. Get there. Got one piece in. I'm scoring the hell out of it though. But I'm getting there. Okay, we're good. See what I had to do here. Okay, we're there. Now. Okay, now I can tighten this thing down. Nothing's in the way. Nope, we're right like that. Okay. Now let's tighten it down. That was a real challenge. Oops, okay. My, my split ring moved on this one. I got to get that fed back in there. Here we go. Come on, get in there. There we go. Now it's in there. Not an easy installation, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, it's going to be cool when it's done, but it is not an easy installation. It's not like a one, two, three, bang, bing. OK. 
Okay, now let's tighten this up. That one's almost perfect. And you don't want it to move with cameras on it. Ah, oh, there we go. Now we're getting there. Okay, I think we are... Yep, that's good. Now tighten these up, and this thing's ready to go. This was a real challenge, but we are almost done. Ooh. Okay, and that's okay, next. We're gonna go ahead and mount this camera mount. Man, that's a long screw. All right, now I want this to go like that. Alright, I will screw this one on. This one is for the 360 mount camera right here. No, actually the GoPro mount. This is for the GoPro. 360 is on the other side. That ain't going anywhere. Okay, the next one think is the phone mount that's going on this end and I gotta make sure this mount when I put the phone in it doesn't hit the display I can get some minor adjustments done and not worry about it Well, that ain't going anywhere. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and test fit the cell phone. Oh, tighten that down. All right, it is still a little moving. So Give it some more tightening here. Now it ain't going anywhere. And the cell phone will mount up here. Let me take this control. Control will go like that. I think we're okay. The way this comes out, you go like this and then lock it closed. All right, one more. Center camera. I should have went the other way. Go this way. Okay, get the rubber in there. Figured I'd mount this upside down first, get it started, then spin it around. But that should be enough. Now make sure it don't move. Now we're good. Okay, Whew. that was a task and a half, but it's done, and I'm real pleased with it. I just want to cinch these up, make sure they're good to go. Oop, wrong way. OK. 
Okay. And this one. Okay. And these two, I'm just double checking. Okay, and okay, and okay, all right. Now the media, still a little loose, huh? This will hold the 360 camera, this will hold the GoPro. The thing I like about this one, it's supposed to shift around. I don't know how it's supposed to do that. Right, guys, what I'm trying to do now is put on a bottle rack system and uh, I'm a little concerned that it's not going to do what I want it to do. First thing, I might as well just test fit it. What we're going to do now is kind of try out this, this bottle rack holder and I'm not sure if it's going to work because the only place I could get it to go around, I wanted it to go around this down here but it's just not big enough. So I may have to send this one back and uh, try something else. I'm not sure yet. But right now I'm just gonna go ahead and cinch it on and then I can spin this down the way I understand it. Okay, now supposed to be able to spin this this way. See, and I'm not sure if it's all gonna get in the way of everything. That's my, my concern right now. So I'm gonna put the rack on and see, but I think it's gonna be way in the way. So I'm gonna to have to come up with something else. Yeah, this, I don't think it's gonna work. <coughs> I need to get it way down. But I'll put the water bottle in and see. Well, the first screw is going to tell me. Well, I don't know. Uh, it's going to block my controller. The visual. Which is really not a big deal, but I'd rather it didn't. God dang it. All right, I'll go get my tr bottle, but I don't think this is gonna work. Maybe too high, but I could put it lower, but we'll see. That's the other screw. Let's get it in there and let's see what we got. We're almost done. Got the Rockport bag to put on and air up the tires and that's it. I think what I'm going to do is loosen this and drop it. Drop it down here. That's about it right there. Now let's see if this is going to work. Let me cinch this up. And go get my bottle and test fit it. Maybe okay, maybe not. I don't know. May have to just get a smaller bottle. I don't know. We'll see. That'll make this stuff easy. All right, that's it. It ain't going anywhere. Hi, guys. Uh, I got the water bottle in there. And I don't think it's going to be too awful bad. I can change the position of that and flip this around. But let's get on the bike and let's see. Oh, no, it doesn't block. Okay, I'm okay. Turn the controls on. Yep, I can see mild energy bar, phone, uh, all my stuff up here. Uh, that part's good. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's put the rock port on and fill up the tires and we're finished. What sold me on this bag, guys, is the saddlebag system that's in here along with storage. Now you see I've already have storage in here. That's my filters. I'm going to pull them out for this demo. But now I don't know, haven't done this before, so... Oh, I see what it does. So if you got some stuff 
that you need to uh, pick up you can take this and lock it down and now you got a nice set of saddlebags right here with a lot of storage space right here isn't that cool now I don't know if I'll be using the saddlebag part but uh, it's just a nice feature and they just tuck up like that and that keeps them in place and then what I did is I put my uh, camera filters and stuff like that in here like this and then zip that up and I know they're good to go but anyway that's the Rockport or no Rock Brothers bag uh, really excellent. It's got some front rigging up here where I can take my selfie sticks or a small tripod or something and uh, lash that in. So that was actually pretty simple to do. All right, guys, uh, we're going to finish up here. All we've got to do is inflate the tires, and I know they're down. I picked up what they call a Red Flowers, the brand name, programmable portable air pump that's rechargeable and uh, all that it just screws in here right there all right to power it on you hold this for three seconds there we go PSI go to PSI here okay and I want to bring it down to 30 pounds And let's see how this thing works. I don't know. Came fully charged. Okay. Screwed on the valve. And we will see how this works. Oh, yeah. There's only six pounds in this thing. And it did, okay. Took a while, but it's not horrible. I'll do the front one now. And uh, got a little warm. We're going to time the next one. See how long it takes. We'll go over here. I'm going to have to spin that wheel around. Go ahead and time this one here. As soon as I get everything set up right. Dang it. Okay. I think we're ready to go. All right, 2.22 minutes. And this is all aired up. Now I'm gonna show you a couple other features about this. Uh, I'm gonna keep this. There's no question, I am gonna keep this. Now if you want a security light, Got a security light here. Up and down is here. And then to change your PSI, bar, whatever is over here. So it's a keeper. Uh, it's rechargeable. It does get a little hot. I'm feeling that right now, but I'm definitely going to keep this. Go ahead and set it up for its first charge. And I'm not going to take the battery out for this. I'm just going to go ahead and set up the charger and see how long this cord is and see if I'm going to need a drop cord. I'm not sure. You can see down here, I got the red light. When that goes green, it's fully charged. All right, guys, this concludes part one of the electric XP 2.0 uh, setup and accessory install. Um, I did run into a few problems putting on the bike lock and, and uh, putting on the uh, bar extension, but once you get it all set up, I mean, it just takes a little bit of time. The side mirror here was no real issue whatsoever. So anyway, hey, my next video is going to be out doing a test ride on this bike and then doing a couple of different locations and give you my uh, input. I'll be also doing uh, PAS changes, changing it to 100% and uh, so on. So, hey, we'll see you on part two.